Hey Aquarius, what's up? It's Opulent Spiritual, another reading. So let's get into your cup. Yeah, and this cup has been sitting, so it's a, it's a little bit dry. So I feel like you and Pisces are going to be like very um dried out. Like just you're done. You know what I mean? Like something's overdone. It's overkill. It's like the Ten of Swords type of thing. That's what I'm getting because you're the only two signs that are going to be dried up like this. So it's like very strange here. So you're you're just done. You need a recharge. Maybe go on vacation or just get away from people. Very interesting cup though. At the bottom, I'm seeing a giant ox here. And you have Chinese ear of the rat, Chinese ear of the dog here as well. And there is a number eight. So next eight days is going to be significant. Oh, this is for October, by the way, 2024. Yeah, you're even going to forget that it's October. You know what I mean? Like you're going to forget because you don't care. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but like you really don't give a shit. You're like, like you don't even know what day it is because you've just been doing something too much or you're just not aware. Like you're kind of in like limbo. You're just drifting along. You have letter J here. U. E. There's someone doing like, I don't know what it's called. It's like flag flagging or something when like they it's like a band thing but it's not it's like when they use a flag to do like dance moves and stuff I don't know what it's called but it's something my friend used to do it in high school but I have no idea what it's called but she had to she had to wear like certain little socks on her feet like these like toe sock things like yoga socks to do it I don't know but that's what I'm seeing here so something about being graceful and intuitive, I'm hearing. There's something with the evil eye here. Like Big Brother type of shit. The Illuminati is here. Being watched. Maybe you work for a big corporation. Or you feel like you're being watched. You're suspicious here. You are watching your steps. Letter I. Aries is here. Uh, 137 is uh, an angel number here. Right? You have a candle. It's melting though. It's like very, very at the end of its life. So you're like very at the end of like, you know what I mean? Not the end of your life. I mean, I don't know you, but I'm saying like, like you're burned down like to the very end. So you could be on like the verge of burnout type of thing. You know, two rats here. You have Chinese here of the goat here. So Leo and Capricorn. So be careful of that because you're getting overworked here. Chinese year of the ox, Aquarius, that's you. Then you have all this nonsense here. I'm seeing like in-laws, parents, like visiting you. Like people want to visit you, 500 here. Maybe you owe someone $500 or you have to pay that as a fine. Because you see that, right? 500 And... Yeah, there's something about like motor vehicle, like DMV stuff. But I just see people coming in and out of your house, like just annoying you. Like you just want to be by yourself. You want to be at peace, but you have to keep constantly doing something here. Oh shit, and you have the Knight of Swords here. Chinese, you have the dragon, Taurus, and you have a cannonball. <laughs> You're about to break through some kind of barrier here. Money is here as well, Pisces. Chinese ear of the rat. Knight of Swords is bringing swift change. Chinese ear of the goat is here. Friendship, loyalty here, 31. A yes to your question. You've been traumatized here. Mm, okay. Mm. Yeah, because I'm here. If I could melt your heart, mm, we'll never be apart. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. 37. Chinese ear of the horse cancer is here. Maybe that's who's, who this is. I don't know. But I'm seeing someone like with rashes and burns. Maybe you're getting burned on something, so be careful. I don't know. 
I'm seeing an octopus here. You could see it. You see it right here? You're being pulled in many different directions and you're confused. There's too much confusion here. It's all over the place. There is a, a guitar here, an electric guitar. I'm seeing someone just like rock out, just blasting music and just getting out of their head. Like you need to get out of your head. There's two M's here. And there's a magnifying glass. So looking at the details. But not taking everything so serious. Watching your steps. Chinese Ear of the Rooster, number 10, and Libra. I'm hearing fortified. And I'm hearing hustler here. Maybe you're a hustler, baby. And there is Scorpio here. There is Chinese Ear of the Goat and Leo. Like you know, kind of having their like paws or hoofs or whatever, like touching each other. There's like a un uh, uniting here, like a friendship and there's vampire fangs here. There could be a toxic situation or an energy vampire with that. Yeah, this is dry, so I can't even do anything with this. Let's see. I'm hearing something's not over here. And I'm not really seeing anything on this plate. I'm seeing letter J and 91. It's like giving me like a sunset vibe. So something's like settling down or, or setting in your life. You know? Yeah, not every month is going to be, you know, uh, eventful. You know what I mean? It just depends. But I don't know your birth chart and whatever. So make sure you look at your rising and your moon sign and shit too. You know? Because it could like add like other details. Like, oh, that makes sense, you know? Honestly, I just feel like you want peace in your life. I don't even care. I don't even think. I'm telling you. I want to say I don't even care. Because you don't. You don't give a shit. And that's okay. Sometimes it's good not to, not to care. <laughs> Especially when there's too much shit going on. It's like, okay, I had enough. D. Hmm. There's indulgence here and love and relationships. Page of Wands and the Emperor. Ooh, maybe you're like a boss here, a leader. Could be an Aries coming towards you. That's like interested in you. They could be younger than you as well. This could be someone very youthful. The Chariot. Maybe you waited a while for this. Maybe this this person feels like you're blocking them. Maybe you ended a cycle with this person. Zero. Love here. Maybe you feel like zero love from anything here. Z. And you have the zombie charm. You are exhausted. You are done. You need to heal. Like for real. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Hmm. Nine of swords. Yeah, you're exhausted. But there's a win-win outcome here. You see how that fell? Yeah, meeting someone new. Dating, get back out there. Hmm. Addiction, but make sure you heal this first. Codependency, obsession, possession, controlling. Has a strength. Yeah, someone is behaving stupidly. Chinese Zero, the rooster. Libra, short journey here. Huh. It could be like a little short trip you're taking with somebody. Or this is like a little date or something. Work and money, you have the lovers in reverse. You made a choice here. You definitely made a choice. And I heard, I right when I put this, I heard IC unit. So maybe you work in a hospital. Three of Pentacles, you definitely work with some kind of team. Five Pentacles in reverse, that's good. You're not feeling low or abandoned anymore. Ace of Wands, but you're still waiting for something new here. Connected to your root chakra. So you need to feel more grounded in life. 
especially with your work and money. If you're very lucky, though, you could be getting some kind of lucky offer in October. Your hard work is paying off. Yeah. New moon and Capricorn, especially if you have Capricorn placements, you're definitely um, whatever you're working hard on. I hope I hope that you get um, something paying off for you because you're like the zombie charm right now. News of a birth or new business opportunity. So that's what's coming. That's great. Yeah, stepping into a new experience with your leg. Yeah, maybe your legs are tired and you're ending something. Something's definitely ending here. That's good. R, news from spirit. K, K. And I just heard the Vatican. Yeah, something with your sacral chakra here. The Knight of Pentacles, something that took a long ass time. The King of Swords in reverse. This person wants to uh, actually tell you how they feel now. They're not holding back. Your, your dreams need a practical plan, Taurus. You have Sagittarius here, Arrow. You're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life, so that's good. Dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Lies. This person could have been lying to you, and you're going to find that out. Hmm. Ramen, I just heard. Home and self. We have the little horse. Child could be involved here. Chinese here, the horse. Cancer and Capricorn. Three of swords. Someone hurt you, and it damaged your inner child. Straight up. Lies, deception. Someone could have put you in a third party. Yeah, you're getting some kind of news and announcement with this. T. 10, maybe. Throat chakra. It's going to be known to you. And you have the little fox here. Someone was sneaking around. Take time to breathe out. This is going to piss you off. But you will be happy after you hear about this. Because maybe it's going to bring you clarity. Yeah. It's going to make you feel dissatisfied with life. But at the end of the day, you will feel happy that it's over. September right now. Oh, this was October. This is for October, but September. Something right now, maybe right now. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. Toxic person. Well, there you go. So at least it's going to set you free. Hopefully this happened like September because you guys are going to get this before October. So hopefully this, you know, you go into October like fresh, you know. But anyways, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.